Ah, smiling for two games in a row. This is weird. I'm not really used to this feeling. I don't really know how to act. But yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure this one out as we go along, people. We'll figure this one out. So Chelsea 5, West Ham 0. We love a little 5 nil, don't we, guys? <laughs> <laughs> High fives in the in the comments. I was gonna say in the chat. I'm too used to being live, but big up to everybody that's in here. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. We have absolutely put West Ham in a spliff today. What a team performance from the manager to the players. So none of you think I'm running this Poch agenda. Shout out to Poch for not changing what was working. We've kept Cucurella inverted. And thank the Lord because it provides so much more to our midfield. It provides more protection. It gives Gallagher and Caicedo more of a license to go forward. And we're cooking much better food with this. Much, much better food. Individuals were absolutely superb. The build-up play was so threatening at times. Like tr The likes of Trevor Chalabra and Madueke, I have to give them credit, not just for their performances, but how important they were in our build-up play. Like Madueke is improving his decision-making by the game. Constant, constant threat with his dribbling. But now he's starting to improve his passing. He was involved with the first goal. He was involved with the second goal. He was involved with the fourth goal. He was constantly, constantly terrorizing them on the right. Chalaba. Involved in the first goal. His pass for the fourth was ridiculous. I didn't expect that from him. But the guy is there trying to tell you, no, you will not let me go. I'm here for four years, four or five years, however long his contract still is. Keep him. Like Daniel said on my stream, this guy is our Nacho. He is our Nacho. He is the, he is the experienced head that we need with Thiago Silva leaving. Do not let him leave. Do not let him leave. But as a team, we were on to West Ham from minute one. These guys tried sitting back and they, they just couldn't deal with us. They really just couldn't deal with us. And to be fair, we did have a little bit of luck because Jared Bowen had a hat trick of crossbars, of hitting the crossbar. And like, that's just awful luck and all of that. But you know what? Sometimes you need a little bit of luck on your side too, so... That's a you problem, Bowen. You can hold that. West Ham as an institution can hold that. Like, I'll be real. I've always despised that club. I did not want them doing the double over us this season. 1920 was bad enough. But we got our revenge. We got the goal difference back from the Arsenal game as well. So in my eyes, that game didn't happen. That game didn't happen. I refuse to acknowledge that game now. Is what it is. Um, Palmer, sensational again. Got another goal. Passing was ridiculous. Dribbling was ridiculous. But we say this about him every game. Just like we say with Caicedo, that he's always bossing the midfield. Always. And it's got to a point now where I refuse to acknowledge people who tell me that Caicedo is not performing or that he's a flop. You don't watch Chelsea or you don't know ball if you watch Chelsea and you come to that conclusion. Caicedo is our best midfielder this season. Full stop. End of debate. That is it. Cucurella, I, I, I swear, if Chilwell is kept over this man, I'm going to lose my head. There is no reason for Chilwell to start over this guy. I don't care if it's Chilwell inverting. No, it's over. Thank you for 2021. Time to go, mate. It's time to go. But we were on to them from the start, dominated them all game. 3-0 up at half-time. Chalaba to Noni. Noni to Jackson. Just make sure it's dead at 4-0. Because like, even at 3-0, you can be a little bit worried sometimes. But we don't even have bad second halves right now. It's not even us just dominating a half. No, we're, we're dominating the whole thing. We're dominating the whole thing. I know people are going to ask the question, Should Poch be given a chance now? No. No, 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 no. Too much damage has been done. How it's taken us to this, to this point, match day 33, to do what we were just doing in pre-season, I, I don't know. I don't know. And it kind of feels like we've just stumbled upon, upon it. And it's like, oh, it works. So we're just going to stick to it. Just going to stick to it. 
I still have questions over his tactical flexibility. The game management, like, I have worries over that, but it hasn't been a problem for the last few games, so I won't speak too much on it. But the bread and butter with Pochettino is that he's done too much damage for me this season. So, no, that is not changing. That is not changing. We have to sadly see if he's here next season before I even consider if I back him or not. Like, do your thing if we get to next season, but he has to hit the ground running. I like I need to see the first three or four games as a as a minimum. And if we cook, and I mean five star meal cook, not just like get a couple wins, but it looks a bit shaky. No, I need Michelin star meals. If I get that next season, maybe, maybe I'll just go and just let him cook. Maybe. But for this season, no. You will not gaslight me into anything with this man. No. Players are now finally started to click and understand each other a little bit more. He hasn't changed what's been working with us, and that's helped us too. But that's it. Like uh, that, That's it. That's it. So I'll give him praise. Also, because he didn't start going off on tangents about the owners and directors after the win. He actually started crediting the players. So <laughs> fair play for that. But no, like, no, no, he still has to go. He still has to go. But to the players and to the manager, brilliant. You have restored some pride to this football club this week. You battered Tottenham and then you battered West Ham. You gave them that Kendrick and Drake treatment. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now, Forest, same energy. Brighton, same energy. Bournemouth, same energy. Simple as that. We need nine points. Because United will drop points, Newcastle will drop points, them two play each other, Man United play Newcastle, um, Spurs, they're losing to Liverpool right now as we speak, still 1-0, still 1-0, and they face Man City after that, so that's six points already gone, if Burnley can do something for us or Sheffield United, we might even be able to catch up to them, but all that is for me is just undoing all the damage that we have done this season because don't get it twisted i've said all season this team is capable of competing for top four and look how close we are already and all we've done is all i've asked for this season go on a run go on a run it's not that hard go on a run so i'm glad we've got there i'm glad we've got there just Keep it up, people. I might go to Forest, even though I feel like literally everybody is telling me, don't go, you're the bad luck charm. I swear if we lose, it's your fault. But I'm feeling the night out, so I, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. Still potch out. Up the Chelsea. West Ham, hold that. You lot of scrubs.